everyone. So today we're gonna to be trying a bunch of Aldi snacks again. Uh, this is round two, all new snacks that I've never tried before from Aldi or Aldi's, some people like to say. Um, basically, I was out trying to Halloween decor hunt and I saw no Halloween decorations, not one. Hopefully by the time I post this video, I've already seen Halloween decorations and possibly have even posted a Halloween decor hunting video. That's, that's my hope. But if it's not happening yet, then I'm gonna post this video first. Anyways, I got a bunch of snacks from Aldi and I figured we could put on some Halloween jammies and eat a bunch of snacks. I could try them, tell you what I think of them and if you should get them or not. Although I know everyone has different taste preferences so do what you want. Oh, if you wanna put on your own spooky jammies and get out a bunch of snacks and we can have a full on snack time, figured it could be fun. And uh, just a heads up, basically none of these snacks are healthy, I don't feel like. I gotta get some dips out of the fridge cause I didn't know how long I'd be jabbing my jaws when it came to the intro, hold on. So I've got a bunch of dips, a bunch of chips, some random sauce, is that all I got? And I also have some random whipped cream that I wanted to try for dessert. Okay, here, let's start with this situation over here and we're gonna put this aside. All right, so for, aside from Halloween decorations, and of course my family, my dogs, and all that kind of stuff, which dogs are family, but I just wanted to make sure you knew I was including them. I am obsessed with dip. If I could just eat dip for the rest of my life, that's what I would eat. All the dips. I love dips so much. Uh, the first thing we're gonna be trying today, I saw this and I'm so excited about this. Uh, this is called pickle de gallo. It's like a pico de gallo, but with pickles, literal pickles. It says pickle de gallo on it. And it's a pickle based salsa. And you know what? I didn't even look to see, what is on this? Something green. I didn't even look to see if this is dill pickles or sweet pickles. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, I know people like sweet pickles, but I feel like they're there to torture people who love dill pickles. Because there's something about when you're about to eat, I'm just gonna open this while I'm talking. When you're about to eat a dill pickle or you think it's a dill pickle and your mouth starts watering because you're ready for that saltiness, and then you bite into it and it's a freaking sweet pickle. There's no bigger disappointment in life. And I feel like I've definitely talked about that before and I don't even care because, because that is really traumatic for a dill pickle lover. Okay, why can't I? Come on. All right, well. Okay, let's figure this out. I am so excited about this, by the way, because, okay, I couldn't get the thing open so we just have to go in with the knife technique. I saw this on this Aldi group. I'm part of this Aldi Isle of Shame group. I don't actually talk in there. I just stalk it. Like I don't say anything. <laughs> this is definitely dill pickles. I can smell it. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, my mouth is literally watering. But I saw this on there and I was like, I gotta find this dill pickle dip. And I found it. And we're gonna try it and see what it's all about. I'm just gonna eat it with some good old tortilla chips. These are just from Costco. They're not even from Aldi. So I feel like I'm cheating on Aldi, but whatever, we're gonna try it. I'm so excited about this. Looks like a little spicy salsa situation. I wanna tilt it, but I don't wanna spill a bunch of pickle juice everywhere. But if you can see kind of what it looks like, maybe we should put it on the chip first. So it looks like, I feel like that's not even that good of an image. It looks like a bunch of chopped up pickles with some red peppers in there and some jalapenos maybe. I don't know, but I'm so excited. Let's try this. This is so good. Okay, first of all, I didn't know about the pickle corn chip combination. I was thinking maybe it would be better with, you know, like a potato chip or something like, but it is so good with the corn chip. There's something about the vinegar. Like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. This might be my new favorite thing. But we're gonna take another bite. There was a fly that just tried to fly in my mouth when I was opening it. <laughs> anyways, back to the pickle salsa. We're going in again. It's not really that spicy. If you really like spicy, I feel like you could maybe throw in some jalapenos, like fresh jalapenos in there. Or maybe even pickled jalapenos. You all right? Means is on the floor laying down. Well, she's on a bed. Oh, 
little bit of kick in it. It says it's medium. I would say it's more mild. I mean, it's not as mild as an actual dill pickle, but it's not as spicy as those, you know, the spicy pickles that are really spicy. It's not as spicy as that. Uh. And honestly, I feel like you could eat this by itself just with a spoon. Well, actually, let me try it. <laughs> the vinegar, that's when you know it's good. When it like gets you like that, you know it's good. You know you know it's good. One more, one more, one more. Pickle de gallo, 10 out of 10 recommend. This stuff is addictive. I am, woo! One more, one more, one more. All right, one more. It's that good. All right, next up we have another salsa. And this one actually sounds pretty gross, but we're gonna see how it tastes. All right, let me cleanse my palate really quick, hold on. I have a chip in the back of my throat. Um, it is a raspberry chipotle salsa. For some people, I feel like this is gonna sound really good, like a raspberry chipotle salsa, no way. But for me, there's just something that does not sound that great with it. I am not a huge sweet salsa person, um, there's a pineapple salsa they have at Aldi that's pretty good. I can get into it, but it's like pineapple something. I don't know. But if I have to choose, I like more of a, like a tomato or even with that pickle de gallo, like something that has more of like a vinegary kind of, um, like a salt and vinegar rather than a sweet. So this is going to be preference, I feel like. Um, but this is what it looks like. Raspberry chipotle salsa. So we're going all in. I'm, I'm really nervous about this one. There's something about these fruity salsas that look like, I don't know if I wanna say it. I said it last time, but if you're snacking with me, you're not gonna, and I also don't wanna get it in my head. It doesn't look good. All right, here we go. We're gonna try it. Oh God, here, I wanna see what it looks like. It looks like, I feel like you can't even see it but it kind of looks like, oof. Like this one time, all right, I'm gonna tell a story. This, let me take, I'm gonna taste it and then I'll tell you the story and I'm sorry if you're having a snack with me. It's gonna be a gross one, hold on. Oh God, it smells like it too. All right, here we go. There's something about the Chipotle that actually works with raspberry in this. Hold on, let me try it again. Hmm, it's really smoky. So if you don't like smoky, I don't feel like you're gonna like this, but I actually like this. This is actually really good. It looks really gross. There's something, it's not like in your face, like tart raspberry. That's what I was thinking it was gonna be. Like this tart, to be honest with you, I had this, hold on, I'll take a bite and then I'll tell it. When I saw it first impression, this reminds me of this one day. We're gonna have another bite while we're talking about it. We're gonna. We're gonna move past our fear. This one time. When I was in choir, I was in elementary school and it, all the parents came to watch the school program. And it's all these different songs, like we had to stand on these bleachers and sing and who knows what it, what it was. So we ate lunch right before this program started. All the parents were there, everyone was out in the audience. And, and this kid who's really tall standing in the back, all of a sudden I'm like, I'm standing there, we're all singing our songs and I hear this, this horrible noise and I look over and like everyone's gasping and like, oh no, look over and this kid had thrown up, he was standing in the back, had thrown up all over the backs of these kids who were standing in front of him. And it was that day, okay, you know the minute made I don't know if they had how long they had this. This would have been the early 90s, probably. They had these Minute Maid popsicles that they would serve at lunch that were in these triangle shape, and you kind of push them up. Like you'd have to tear off. First of all, it was the most impossible thing ever. You had to tear off the top, and then you had to push up the. It's like a triangle shape. You had to like push it up. But anyways, this kid had a cherry one for lunch because the thing looked like 
no joke, like this raspberry salsa just all over the backs of these kids, just projectile all over the back of them. Anyways, you're welcome for that disgusting story. That's what that reminded me of, and I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. But it's really smoky, so it doesn't have that tart vomit flavor to it. Let's move on to chips, because I have a couple of dips but I'm not sure what to eat with these. So we're gonna try a couple different things, but I'm gonna open some chips first. So I saw these, these are the kettle chips. They are the Cuban sandwich flavored chips is what they are, uh, potato chips, I think. These do have milk in them. So if you are vegan, these are not vegan, but I believe that yes, they are gluten-free. So if you're gluten-free, these are gluten-free, but they are Cuban sandwich flavored but they don't have any actual meat flavoring or anything like that. So if you're vegetarian, you can have this. It really just sounds like there's some Swiss cheese going on. Oh, I normally try to avoid dairy, but we're gonna go in and try these because I'm living on the edge per usual. And we're gonna try these Cuban sandwich flavored chips. They smell like sauerkraut. What's up? or like dill pickles or something. Mm. It tastes like a mix between salt and pepper chips, a little hint of like a dill pickle or like a vinegar chip. Not overwhelming though, not like normal vinegar kettle chips that are really, really sour. It's not like not like shrivel up your tongue or like shrivel up your lips sour. It's a little bit more mellow. I don't really taste the Cuban sandwich situation. I mean, they almost have like a sour cream and onion. That might be what it is. It's like a little bit of sour cream and onion, a little bit of dill pickle chip, and a little bit of um, salt and pepper chip. So Clancy's Cuban sandwich flavored chips. They're good. I don't think they're like run out as soon as you can and get it good. Like the pickle, pickle de gallo, but they're definitely good. Definitely. Oh, I forgot to get clips out. All right, let's try this one. All right, let me cleanse the palate. What are these? Nashville hot chicken flavored. Well, let's do that next. I don't want to scorch off my taste buds quite yet. All right. Next, I found this. This is more of like a healthier-ish snack. This is the Simply Nature Herbs and Spices Popcorn. So if you're looking for something that's not a potato chip, I totally get ya. Um, this is popcorn, herbs and spices. And it smells really good. All right, first of all, let me just say the kettle corn at Aldi is so good. We tasted that last time and it's back for the summer. Um, I'm not really getting herbs and spices. I'm getting like maple syrup. It, the thing is they put sugar in this, which I feel like was the wrong move. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just weird. It's not the best thing I've ever tasted. It's not the worst thing I've ever tasted. Like it's pretty bland and pretty weird. It's the sugar that's really weird in it. I don't know why they did that. I'm just not feeling whatever that is. So I would say the herbs and spices popcorn, pass on that and get the um, the kettle corn because it's 500 times better. Um, yeah, I won't be getting that again. All right, moving on to, let's move on to this. Found these specially selected lattice cut roasted garlic and sea salt kettle chips. This is what they look like. These are going to make my breath smell absolutely amazing. Oh, these are cool looking. Lattice cut, but it, it looks like a little, a more detailed version of a waffle kind of looking chip. Mmm, mmm, oh God. Oh man, it's got cheese in it. Yep. 
sour cream. Mm-hmm. I have to taste it immediately. So, whoa! Hold on. Back up. First of all, these do have milk in them, so if you're vegan, these are a no-go. But these are way too salty. Like, really, 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 really salty. Um, first couple bites, really good, and then I got just a ton of salt. Um, like that bite wasn't bad, but it was like half the chip wasn't that salty and the other half was just like all salt. There's like an uneven amount of saltiness in the bag. It's like, I just had two pieces that tasted like no salt and they were actually pretty good. And now I'm gonna try this one. Also not too salty, so maybe it was just that piece or my tongue just shriveled up and it now can't taste anything. <laughs> what I will say is I love the texture of this chip. It is so good. It's like a kettle chip, but it's I've got that like lattice, lattice cut. I almost said waffle. But I love the texture of this chip. Mm. I almost want to try this with the pickle de gallo. Would you guys be offended if I tried that? Because like roasted garlic and sea salt with some pickles, like spicy pickles just sounds so good. Let's try this. Dig it in there. It's good, but it's not how I imagined it in my head. Like in my head, I was like, garlic, sea salt, pickle de gallo. And then I ate it and was just like, I mean, that was good, but it's actually better with tortilla chips, which I never thought I would say. Anyways, these roasted garlic and sea salt lattice chips are really, really good. There may be a couple of salty ones in there, but overall, the flavor's there. All right, next up, what do we got? We got the Clancy's. Uh, these are the kettle chips, the Nashville hot chicken flavored kettle chips. So I'm really excited about these. These do not have any milk in them. Uh, so it doesn't say it contains any milk, does it? No. And they're also gluten free. So I wanted to throw that out there. All right, let's try these. Like a, they're kind of more of a, they look like almost like a barbecue chip. hot I got some good heat in there oh I'm trying to decide I just don't know if I like the taste of that hot sauce that they like tried to mimic or whatever I like the Cuban better than the Nashville hot chicken although the Nashville hot chicken the spice is awesome it's definitely there I don't know I kind of like the Cuban better because I like that there's that vinegar flavor to it plus the kind of sour cream and onion, plus the like uh, black pepper and sea salt taste to it. And this is a little bit sweeter, I think, for me. But to each their own, and I think it's worth a try. I don't think they're bad, I think they're good. But I think they'd be good, um, I think they'd be good on a sandwich. If anyone else puts their potato chips on a sandwich, I, I like that texture in a sandwich, like with a crunch. Um, these would be good because it adds some heat. I mean, they're good. We'll eat them. They're, they're fine. They're just not, they didn't blow me away. Moving on, we got two dips. We got a bean dip. This is a black bean dip. Let's try this one. Black bean dip. And then we got a romesco, romesco dip. And these are both gluten-free and vegan dips. Here's the romesco dip. Wait, there you go. Romesco dip. Uh, the black bean dip looks like a classic, let's take this off, looks like kind of like a classic black bean dip, looks like this, smells like black beans mixed with salsa is what it smells like, 
This is kind of like a black bean hummus, I think. And the Romesco one is, what does it say? Fresh roasted red pepper, almonds, and tomatoes. This one, I, I don't, I don't know. This is what, it looks like a red pepper hummus, but it smells kind of weird. All right, so for the black bean dip, I try it with the tortilla chips. Put them in my lap, because why not? Let's try this. Oh my gosh, my nose is running from that <laughs> hot chicken. Ugh. I feel like tortilla chips in my lap is like a whole mood. <laughs> All right, we're going into the black bean dip. It smells weird. some carrots in in case we wanted to try something healthy with it I'm gonna dip some carrots in it mmm yeah mmm I really good with carrots it's got more of that hummus taste so like so it's not like a black bean dip whoa it's spicy though Woo! All right, it's not like a black bean dip that is like refried, like, you know, mashed black beans essentially with like a salsa flavor to it. It's definitely got that hummus flavor to it. All right, moving on. We've got the Romesco dip. Looks like a roasted red pepper for hummus. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, that is hot. Oh, oh my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. No. No. I'm just trying to singe off my actual taste buds right now because it was so bad. I'm gonna give it another try with these roasted garlic and sea salt. Maybe it was just the corn chip that wasn't, I'm just gonna dip a little bit. No, no. Mm -mm. Uh. Uh. I am not usually that even vocal about it. Like when something's not good, I'm like, mm, it's just not that good. That's so. No. It's, dude, it's it's not good. To me, it's like this, there's this tomato flavor. It's like an artificial tomato flavor is what it, it tastes like a scratch and sniff tomato sticker or something. I don't know, it's so not good. I mean, to each their own. If you like it, then you like it. It really is not. I don't know if it's the almonds in combination with all this stuff. But the Romesco dip, I say pass on it. That is, I feel like this is one of those things where they wanted to make something vegan and gluten-free, but it just ended up being gross. It's, it really is not, it's, I don't think it's good. I mean, maybe, no. All right, we're moving on because I can't, I can't think about that anymore. This Berman's Sweet and Hot Mustard. It's a sweet and spicy, mustard. I am so excited about this because I love sweet and spicy mustard. We're just going to try it on the chip. Oh God. Oh, here we go. I cannot believe that dip. All right, first we're going to put it on my finger and I'm going to taste it by itself. Mm. Oh man. Oh yeah. It's kind of like a honey mustard. We're gonna put some on this garlic chip. This is like real serious snacking right here. Mmm. Yep. Mm. All right, now I'm gonna try the Cuban chip with the sweet and spicy mustard. This is the healthiest dinner I've ever had. Mmm. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Cuban chips with the sweet and hot mustard. I challenge you to try this. It is so good. Cuban sandwich chips, sweet and hot mustard. Go for it. Mm, it's really good. So last but not least, there's a dessert situation that I need to get out. Hold on. I found this True Whip vegan, vegan plant-based whipped topping. So it's a vegan whipped cream. So it, I really, really, I feel like I've talked about this before. I love this coconut whip topping from uh, So Delicious, I think is who makes it. It's my favorite. I don't know what kind this is. This, I don't know. There's a lot of random stuff in this. Um, I, that's, I really like the coconut milk one, but we're gonna try this one. Looks like this. It looks like Cool Whip is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna try it out. Oh. Um, I could sit here and eat the whole thing. Mm. This would be really good with some strawberries, but I don't have any. If the coconut whipped cream tastes more like coconut milk, then like it tastes less artificial, if that makes sense. Like it tastes like coconut milk and vanilla. It's like really, really good. This has a little bit of an artificial taste to it because it's got a lot of random ingredients in it that are not my favorite. Um, um, but this one's good. It's really good. This one, you cannot taste any coconut in it. So if you don't like the taste of coconut or coconut milk, then this one would be a good one. Um, this True Whip. If you're trying to avoid a bunch of random ingredients, this does have, has a lot of the fillers in it. But if you're vegan and you're looking for just something, you just put it on top of your pie or something like that, this is a good one. It's like officially nighttime, basically. <laughs> the big winner of the day, I think, is the pickle de gallo. And I actually ended up liking the Cuban sandwich chips, but the pickle de gallo is hard to beat. I'm not gonna lie. So anyways, that's all I gotta say about that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed snacking with me. Let me know down in the comments any snacks that you were eating in the process or, or anything I should try from Aldi that's really good that you've tried. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, anyways, thank you for snacking with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, uh, just let me know, like I said, in the comments what you guys have been snacking on and any of your favorite snacks lately. It doesn't have to be from Aldi either. You can just let me know anything you've been loving to snack on. I'm gonna take one more bite of this. Mm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully Halloween decor hunting.